channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified, guys. So listen, tonight, y'all, we are going to be showing you guys how to make listings on eBay. A lot of people have been asking me if I could show them um, how to list on eBay, how to sell on eBay, um, because they weren't that computer savvy. Well, let me let the cat out the bag, okay? I'm I'm not either, okay? I know enough to get by. Um, pretty, you know, knowledgeable in some things, but some things I'm green and don't know a thing. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do, I guess the first thing I should have did was clean my computer off, okay? But we, we, we're we not up here to judge the computer and all that, okay, y'all? But it does need cleaning. Um, so what I'm going to do, trying to get this started so that when I get ready to get to the shipping part, which if this part takes too long, we'll just make a separate video on the shipping part, okay? But anyway, I'm going to take you guys through the whole actual process of what to do okay so the first thing you're gonna have to do is set up an account okay so if you don't have an account when you get up there um you see here it say well i hope you guys can see i hope you can um anyway if you can't see directly on my screen over here it says hi felicia right so when you first sign in if you don't already have an account it's gonna ask you to set up an account okay it's going to ask you to set up an account. It's just going to basically ask you for your basic information that you have to um, put in for any account that you um, set up, okay? You're going to have to link a payment method with your account, whether it be your banking account or it be a card. You're going to have to link it so that when you sell something, it can um, put your money there. And also, um, when the fees that, you know, associated with your shipping and all, it will come direct. You can set it up where it comes directly from that source or it can come from your PayPal account, okay? Because your money, um, I think it automatically goes to your PayPal account and then you can have it where it goes directly from PayPal to your car. It's been so long since I set it up, guys. I don't remember that part, but it will definitely walk you through. If, you're able, if you are able to read, then you should have no problems. And if you're challenged in that area, just get someone to walk you through um, that part. Okay. So over here, when I do sell something, it always has a bit, it has a notification bell right here to show me when I sell something. Right. So, um, it also has notifications when you have messages. I have a message about these hats here and I'm going to have to take those hats down because I can't remember where I put them at. I went in my attic to look for them and I couldn't find them. So anyway, um, it has, um, okay, I sold this bottle and my shipment, shipping is overdue. I should have shipped it off, um, Friday, but I didn't. Um, this is an item that I sold, um, some Dollar General sunscreen for kids, guys, okay? And I told some of you on a video yesterday, if you didn't see it, um, I got cases and cases of sunscreen spray sunscreen lotion from a year or two back and i have sold a tremendous amount of it in the last couple of years and i still have a lot um so that's something that sells really well in the summertime and i also told you guys tomorrow i mean i told you yesterday that when the sunscreen goes for a penny again that i will let you guys know okay so that you can be on the lookout for it. that's something that not a lot of people are in the stores looking for Okay, but for those of us that resell online, we know that this is a great money maker for the summertime. So I paid a penny for it and I'm selling it for $6. Okay, like I said, certain things like this, no, you're not going to become a millionaire from it, but it's definitely a second stream of income. Most of um, the sunscreen and sun sprays I put in lots. That way, the person is able to get quite a few at one time and I'm also able to get rid of quite a bit of stockpile because I've told you guys I need a warehouse okay so I have stuff everywhere so anyway when I'm going to show you guys how to list items but I'm also going to show you what it looks like from the standpoint of selling okay once you sold an item 
So once you sell an item, you're going to get the notification that you sold the item. Um, and all of this, the weight and all of that is going to come when I show you guys how to list on eBay. Okay. So this particular part is just showing you once you sold something. Okay. So I've sold it, right? And um, I, when I listed it, I put it in as eight ounces. And I'm pretty sure once I package this, it's probably going to be about eight ounces. You really need a scale, which I did have one, and my scale went bad, and I need to order another one, okay? I have a regular digital weighing scale for your body, and it'll weigh items, but not in the ounces. Once you get into two and three pounds, it'll weigh it, but not this small so i definitely need to order another scale and i did get that from ebay and i only paid probably about nine or ten dollars for it not expensive at all so you're gonna go in and um we're gonna be using usps first class because this is less than um i think now it's like 15 ounces or something but anyway as long as it's not over a pound <clears throat> you can um, list um, under USPS, which is going to be the cheapest way to ship. So, the um, it costs $3.81 to ship, right? Um, and so, here it shows over here what the person paid. They paid $6. And it'll also tell you what they paid for the shipping, okay? So... None of my items do I have free shipping on. I make either you can do free shipping and just incorporate the price of the shipping with the item, or you can do like I do and just charge them for the shipping. Just that's just what I do. So once I do it, I go here and I hit purchase shipping label. We may have to do a part two. I'm trying to make it a part one. Um, so it says now my label is ready to print. So it's going to do all of this for you. It's not like you got to go to the post office, all of that. Only thing you're going to be doing is going to the post office, dropping off your package and you don't even have to drop it off. You can really have it scheduled to be picked up. I don't have time for all of that. Okay. It's probably simple to do it. I just, the post office is not far from my house, so I don't have a problem with dropping it off. Okay. So you definitely want to make sure you have a printer, something else that I need to work on, okay? Yeah, I definitely need to work on that. Um, I have one, but I need to have some work done to it. Um, so you're going to save it on your computer and print it if you have the availability to print it, but I don't. So what I have to do is go in and save mine, and I save it, and then I just go to the library, which is crazy, um, but I go to the library which is right up the street. The library and the post office is right there together, right up the street from my house. I print the label off and um, then I ship it off, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a quick way. Yeah, I think we might do a part two to this. But um, what I do, I use my newspaper for my gift baskets. I also use my newspaper for my shipping as well, okay? And what I'm going to do is just go in and reinforce the top to this. Of course, if you're not doing anything liquid, you don't have to do this. And I don't do it all the time. But if it's something that I feel may possibly come open in shipping, I'll just go and reinforce the, um, the label so that it, you know, make sure, ensure that it stays closed by the postal services throwing boxes all around. I do not spend um, money on shipping items. I just simply recycle items and ship my items off that way. That way I'm not spending extra money on shipping supplies. I just wrap the item up really, really good with my newspaper. And you see, I have that wrap. It has cushion, okay? Really good cushion. You can use another couple of pieces if you would like. I then use, like I said, recycle. This is from something I purchased or something I ordered and it came in this bag. I do not ever throw away my shipping bags, y'all. Shipping, um, packaging, wrapping, packaging. I don't throw any of it away because I'm going to always come back and reuse it or something. That way I don't have to purchase the item, okay? So what we're going to do is just... 
When I tell y'all I recycle everything, I recycle everything, okay? So, of course, we're going to reinforce this with our tape. And as I sell larger things, I will show you guys. I, it's a video already on my channel showing you guys how to wrap an actual gift basket, okay? Because that's probably what most of you that are following me will be selling. I sell everything on my eBay um, from hmm, gift baskets to shoes to clothes. And I mean new and used clothes. Um, new and used shoes. I'm not going to keep doing that because I don't want to irritate y'all with the sound. But anyway, you just go in and make sure it's reinforced with your tape. Go print your label off. If you have a printer, print it off and just tape it here. Drop it off or have it scheduled to be picked up from your front porch, okay? So that's that. So look, let's, let me show you guys. We're on 11 minutes. Let's try to pull this in in about two or three minutes on how to actually list an item, okay? Um, let's download this label so when I go back and print it, it won't have a problem. Okay, so let's go back. Um, okay, so here they have a sale tab here. We're going to go up here and hit sale. Um, create listing. It'll show you like how much you can sell. Once you start, it's gonna give you like a, a large um, amount that you can sell. It, you know, it's not gonna be an issue when you first get started, but it, they do have a limitation on how much you can sell when you first get started. Okay guys, so you go to the sell tab here in the right hand corner. And <clears throat> once you click the sell tab, it's gonna have a create listing. So you go to that and you do single listing. Okay, so what we're going to be listing, listing are these actual shoes. That's from my boutique. Ain't they cute, y'all? Size eight and a half. Okay. So we're gonna be listing those, okay? So enter the product, okay? So the brand of these shoes are Bamboo. So we're gonna put, you have to be very, very descriptive to get your item sold. We're gonna say, black ladies, bamboo, size 8.5, okay? Then we're going to hit search and different shoes are going to come up, okay? Or whatever you're selling, similar items, okay? We want to continue without selecting a product. None of that is what we're selling. So you're going to come in and they're going to start asking you questions. And it's very, um, very self-explanatory, you guys. All these different things, subtitle, all that. So you don't have to do all of that stuff. Just do the stuff that has the asterisk beside it. The title, we've already done that. All this extra stuff that costs extra money to list it, stand out with the bold title. We don't, we're not interested in none of that. All we want is the regular free listing, okay? You don't have to do all this. just something to get you to spend money. You, you check the category that you're selling under. The condition of the product is new with box, okay? It'll ask you if it's new with box, new without box, if it's old, you, it'll ask you all of that stuff so you'll get a chance, okay? So then it's gonna say add up to 12 photos, okay? I don't have the photos on my computer. I'm gonna go back in and um, do that from my phone. But um, if you're doing it from your phone, it's going to be the same um, procedure. You're going to upload. To me, it's much easier to do from your phone than the computer. 
<clears throat> but you can choose either way. The shoe size is eight and a half. That's what we want. Um, the brand is bamboo. Sometimes this stuff, it'll kind of autom um, do an automated um, thing according to the title, but sometimes it'll be a little mixed up. So the brand is bamboo. And the style is slip-ons. The material is, what is this? This is like a suede material. Okay, suede. And the type flat. Color black is already in there. It's in the women department. All of this stuff, you don't need to worry about none of this stuff that it doesn't have a red asterisk beside it. You're going to go in and write a descriptive, um, write a description about the item. Black flats with gold emblem. Size eight and a half. Most people don't even read this stuff, y'all. They just look and see something that they like and they are going to buy it, okay? So we don't, I don't spend a lot of time describing this, describing that. If it's pants or something like that, you will have to put like the inseam and all of that. Some people ask, some don't. If you want to keep people from asking a bunch of questions, the more descriptive you can get with your um, description. I do fixed price. Some people do like a, um, you can either do fixed price or auction. I don't do the auction. I just do a fixed price. And these extra shoes, I'm going to list them for $24.99. You have the opportunity to accept offers and I do accept offers. And I'm gonna actually take this up a little bit. I'm gonna take it up, take it to $26.99. You can charge whatever you want to charge for whatever you're selling. And down here is where it's gonna ask you about the actual shipping. Um, shoes gonna weigh over more than a pound. So with the shoes, we are going to um do USPS priority. Um and I either use one or two things. If it's media mail, that's something different. But I either use USPS first class or priority mail. That's the only two that I use. <clears throat> It'll give you quite a few different options, but I always use priority mail if it's not um, small enough for first class. Um, you have the option to choose how many handling days for your um, shipping. Some people do same day. I always do two business days. That way it gives me time if I'm busy. It still gives me time to get it shipped off in time. Then it's gonna ask you for the package weight and dimensions. I never go in and do all of this stuff. You can, but I, I don't do all of it. All I do is actually go in and do the weight. And being that I don't have my skill, I just kind of guesstimate, okay? These shoes not that heavy. I'm just gonna guesstimate that they're at two pounds. You wanna be as accurate as you can with this because once you um, weigh, if you go ahead and have your scale, you can go ahead and weigh the items before you list them, which is the best way and what I used to do until my scale broke. But being that I've been doing it for so, so long, I basically know kind of like how things are weighed, okay? If you're not too sure, go over the amount. Definitely don't go under because if you go under, the person is going to pay less for shipping and then you may have to pay some of the shipping from your expenses that you make from, um, from, some, from some of the profit that you make from um, the actual product selling. And once you've done all of that, <clears throat> you're gonna come and hit list item, right? But it's not going to let me list it because I haven't put the pictures. So it's going to come and tell me what I haven't done. So if there's something that you've skipped here, it's going to let you know up here. Say, it looks like there's a problem with this listing. 
add at least one photo. More photos are better. Um, so right now I'm just gonna do it as a draft and I'm gonna finish it off on my phone. That way I can take the pictures on my phone and just upload it directly from there. So we just I'm just gonna save this as a draft for right now. But yeah, guys, I hope you found this informative. Hopefully you were able to see my computer. I've never video did a video before with showing my, um, I know it's a more advanced way to do it. I don't know how to do it. So I'm just working with my knowledge, okay? And um, that was just to show it from directly from my phone. So um, I hope you found this video um, helpful for those of you that want to know how to sell on eBay. I hope that you found this um, as a, a great help or guide to get you started to actually earning more money, not just from social media, but also from online um, sales. Hopefully you will find this helpful, guys, okay? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, guys. Each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye-bye.